Well, good morning, Quirky Birders. It's Lynn here and welcome to episode one of the Quirky Bird Watercolour uh, Advent Challenge. Um, and this is your first design. It's this lovely little cute um, little goosey gander. And we'll go through the process of actually painting um, and also um, detailing um, this little character um, now. So... You must have seen my introduction video where I talked about the little um, cards um, that we're going to be using for the design. So you can just cut yourself um, a couple of little blanks um, round about six centimetres by seven centimetres and that will give you the perfect little space um, for your illustration. OK, so when it comes to the drawing of your little goosey gander, what we're going to do to begin with is we're going to start pretty much with the beak. So you're just going to pop in his beak like so. And then from his beak, you can then bring his neck down. And you want a little sort of round little bit for his um, the top of his head. And then you can also just bring the back of the neck down. So we'll just tidy up that beak a little bit better. There we go. Now, please bear in mind, you don't have to use your pencil as hard as I'm using it. Um, I'm only doing, um, I'm doing it quite hard so you can actually pick it up on the camera. So we'll just pop his hat on. And we'll give him a little bob hat. And then we'll go with the, the pom pom on the top. Now, our little goosey gander is wearing quite a smart coat. So we'll start and pop the collar in of his coat. And then we can do the jacket. And then we'll come down to the tail. And then you want his little legs. Let's pop some buttons on his jacket. And then we can add in the snow. Okay, so that is very very quickly um, just your little illustration of your little goosey gander so we can sort of wake him up a little bit um, as you know that I like to do so and we can pop his um, his eyes in so that's just going to give him a little bit of character and um, and just wake his wake his little face up so let's just pop his little eye in there shall we there we go Okay, so now we can start with the painting. And the first colour that I'm going to use, we're going to use the colour yellow. So we'll just paint in the beak. And we'll put some yellow on the pom-pom. And then let's just put a little bit of yellow on his legs. We can then use the colour red. So red's a nice festive Christmassy colour. Now I'm just using a size five brush here. So keeping it nice and simple. And we're just going to put some stripes in on this little cape. So we're going to use a nice red stripe on the hem of the cape. And then just use the tip of the brush and you can change your brush if you have, if you want to. We can just pop some little red and white stripes on the collar of his little cape. And we'll do the same on the hat. Now, 
Now the next colour that we're going to use is we're going to use the colour grey and we're just going to pop a very very light sort of little pale wash of grey onto the feathers of our little goosey gander. So you don't want anything too dark and you just need the smallest amount of paint being applied to your little illustration. And then what you can do is just manipulate that little bit of paint around the feathers of your little goosey gander. And we'll do the same up his neck. Just keep it very, very light. We'll come over the eye. go. So we can introduce a little bit of blue to our, our little goosey gander and we'll pop a little bit of blue next onto his, his cape. Now of course you don't have to do your design like I'm doing mine, you can mix it up a little bit and change the colours. We'll just put a couple of little swathes of blue onto his jacket. And then lastly, we can use the colour green. Again, a very, very festive colour. And we can just use that colour green and we'll pop the green in on the hat. And let's just pop some green buttons in down the front of his cape. So your little goosey gander should look a little bit like that once he's been painted. So once he's painted and you've allowed your little illustration to dry, here's one I prepared earlier. So once he's dry, you can then add the fine liner details around your little goosey gander. And we can do that now. So what we'll do is we'll come around the beak Let's give him a little smile because he's a happy little chap, it's Christmas. And then we'll come down the neck, we'll add in the collar and then what we can do is we can just outline those red stripes just to give it a little bit of vibrancy. We'll outline the cape and the little buttons. We'll come around the bottom The shape of his tail. We'll do the legs. Then we can add in the snow. Let's do his hat. And again, we can just pop those stripes on his hat. Now when it comes to the pom-pom, don't just go around in the circle of the pom-pom. Just bring some little lines out around the edge of your circle. And it just gives the impression of a little fluffy pom-pom on his hat. 
Now you can give him a couple of baubles to hold through his beak. Um, I'm going to do just a couple of little love hearts, I think. And then let's um, bring it out the other side with a little bow. Now on the all of these little illustrations, I've just done a very, very simple little dotty border and this is no different. So what we can do is just using a ruler and your black fine liner pen, just do a series of little broken lines. So you can come all the way down to the snow. I will just turn him round and make it a bit easier. And then we'll come back up the other way. And then just along the top. And then we'll just pop a signature on there. And there we have it. That is your first advent um, design for your um, watercolour advent calendar challenge. The little goosey gander. Really simple, um, but great fun to do. Um, and you can also upsize him as well. He would look great on the front of a, um, a card as well. So have a little bit of fun, enjoy your painting, and I will be back with another quirky design tomorrow morning. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.